Alrighty guys, today we're going to go over how to make a 3D part. Um, so instead of doing um, what we normally do, which is just a flat pattern, so just a two-dimensional part, um, we're going to talk about how to make something, um, and the example that we're going to do is a um, like a napkin holder for a centerpiece on a table um, to where you have maybe two sides that you want to bend up. Um, and if you don't have a press break, um, then this is a really simple thing. It's called pierce bends. Um, you know, you'll see on some of our older machines, we use them on a lot of the forming of the parts, um, not having some of those capabilities when you need special tooling to be able to get into tighter areas. You can really use this, um, even with a press break, um, this process to be able to make things, um, a little more complex, um, without needing those necessary tools. So anyway, so we're going to start by importing an image. Um, so I just went up here to the, this little globe and go to import silhouette. And then once we do that, you'll notice it populates the menu on the right hand side. We're going to click browse. Then in that menu, I'm going to go to my clip art files. You can pull anything offline if you wanted to. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and create, I'm going to use this deer head. So I imported this deer head. It's automatically going to vectorize the, the deer. Um, as I'm looking at this, I, I think everything looks pretty good. So I'm just going to select that. And, Say OK. Now I can select this. I'm going to say, OK, I want a roughly a napkin. It might be 5 inch by 5 inch, 6 by 6 inch. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and scale this now. I'm going to lock my aspect ratio down here. And I'm going to make the width, say, 5 inch. And I'm just going to grab it and move it up into an area where I can work with it a little bit easier. And then now I'm going to make the rectangular base. So. Oh, I'm going to turn grid snapping on so that it snaps to my grid. And now I'm just going to drag it across here. And I'm going to make this rectangle, say, same same thing, maybe 5 inches wide. Tab. And then, I don't know, napkin holder, maybe about 1.5 inches. So now I'm going to grab this napkin holder. I'm just going to move the center base down. It's about there. And now what I want to do is I want to connect this deer to this uh, rectangle here that's going to be my base. Um, and before I do that, I'm going to make a line of symmetry through the center of this. So once we're done, we can go ahead and mirror the same thing to the opposite side. So I'm going to select the line function. I'm going to go over to the right and make it for construction. And I'm going to snap to a midpoint so I see that little midpoint icon. And I'm going to drag it across to the opposite side right there. So. There we go, we have our line of symmetry. And now I'm just going to, I'm gonna make this a lot simpler. I'm just gonna extend a few of these lines on the deer head. So I'm just gonna click on the deer head, click U on the keyboard to ungroup. And then now I can go down here, I can delete away some of this. So those are coming out at a, a decent angle. So now what I'm going to do is I can either get a line from here and kind of drag this out, um, or I can click Extend. Um, that's a, a little bit simpler to do. So I'll click E on the keyboard, Extend, and same thing with this side. And as I zoom in, look like I had a little straggler there. So I'm just going to go ahead and click T for Trim, and then trim away that leftover component. And now what I'm going to do is actually make another part to this um, that will allow me to form it up um, a little bit easier and then have, um, I guess, a base around the napkin before the deer head begins. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the line command. I'm going to drag this up. It is about a half an inch. And I'm going to drag it. Let's go all the way over and make it a little bit easier. Down and we'll snap. We're looking for that command 
so that we're right. Go oh, there it is, coincident on that line. So there we go. And then now I'm just going to click T for trim and trim away some of these pieces here. All right, it looks like I, I'm just going to extend this line again. So I clicked E and selected it. So now we have our deer head. It's connected to that one side. Now we're going to go ahead and make the bend line. So right here, we're going to use this as the line that we're going to be bending about. And we're going to go ahead and select the circle. I like to use a circle. It's a simple way to create little um, segments that are still connected. And I'm just going to hover it over this line and find the center. Oh, there it was. There it is. All so right, there. And then I'm just going to click Tab on my right-hand menu until I get to Diameter. And I'm going to designate 0.25. So quarter inch, um, it's going to be a good diameter to do, uh, to make lines like this. Um, you know, off this side here, you might have to make it, a, you know, step in a quarter so that it lands right on the line. And this will make sense in a minute what I'm doing. Just bear with me here. Oh. And let's do C again. There we go. I'm going to click tab till we get to diameter. 0.25. And I'm going to do one more over here. Tap, 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 tap. Oh. 0.25. There we go. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and do the T for trim. And I'm going to trim away in the middle of these circles. Once that's done, we can select the circles and we can get rid of those. Those were just to be able to do a quick trim. There we go. And if we do C again, if um, this ends up being too weak, um, we'd want to add more of those so we can drop another one at the midpoint of this line. Let's turn off some of these functions here. There we go. And we'll do T again and trim out the middle. All right. So now we have four line segments. Um, that's going to bend nicely on that. If we want to round these corners at this time, we can do that. So I can click F for fillet. Select that corner. I'm going to make the fillet 0.25. F for fillet. And if this is too quick for you guys, I want to try to keep the video short. Um, but I'd recommend going back and viewing some of our other videos if this is kind of moving too fast. Some of these commands, we cover all of them in other videos, so it'll make a lot more sense if you're familiar with those first. Um, so I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to mirror this whole thing. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's go over the whole thing like this. There we go. So notice I have all my bend lines across here, and we have the fillet. We have this whole connected side, and now we're going to do a mirror function. And we're going to create a copy and select this line of symmetry. Like that. There we go. And then now, notice we have a big line here, so we can hover until we select the whole thing. Delete that. There we go. So that is a quick um, video on how to make a part that you can fold up on the sides using Arc Pro Automation. Um, if you guys have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to us. Um, otherwise, I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you'd be able to go through. You could obviously customize this, bring whatever image you want in here. Um, but um, just rule of thumb on these small little bend points. Um, generally, on thinner materials, say eighth inch and under, um, quarter inch will be plenty between those. So we use that quarter inch circle to designate that length for the connected material. Um, using quarter inch on those works out great. When you start to jump up to 3 16th quarter inch plate, it's going to want to tear because it's getting a lot of tensile on the outside of that bend. Um, so you'd want to make sure to account for that. So you might want to increase those line segments to maybe 3 8. Um, but keep in mind by doing that, it is going to make it harder to bend. So 
anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, or you can reach out at support at um, Or you can go on our website and you can fill out um, on the Contact Us page. Um, you can drop a video request in there. Um, and we will continue to do these just to help you guys grow in your new CNC Plasma Venture.